Hey YouTube, it's Maya coming at you finally with my Black Friday and Cyber Monday haul. I have been trying to film this video for several days, but I've been so busy with the holidays and just getting things in order. Um, but I'm finally doing this today for you guys, so I hope you'll enjoy it. And um, I got quite a bit of things that were um, delivered over the last uh, week or so. And so I'm going to share all those goodies with you. Please excuse the mess in my background here. I'm filming in my bedroom and my dresser is just cluttered. But anyway, let's get started. Okay guys, so here you can see all of the goodies that I picked up between Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And I have quite a bit of things to share with you, so I'm gonna kinda go through this a little quick um, so I don't keep you here forever. And I have other things that I've been you know, adding to this lot, but I don't think I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos on you know, all my presents and stuff because I just think that that's going to be like overload and I'm sure you all have your own goodies that you know you're going to be shopping for and who has time to watch every video that <laughs> everyone makes for their gifts but hopefully this will inspire you to maybe pick up some things if you are in the market for them um, so let's just get started so the very first thing I picked up on Black Friday, and I did a lot of online shopping this year which is not typical, I love going out on Black Friday but it was just, you know, it, it, the sale day thing is so weird on Thursday now. I hate it. I used to love getting up at 3 and 4 in the morning. I refuse going to go out. out on Thursday. I think that's Thanksgiving and you should be with your family. And so, you know, I figured instead of trying to fight to get those sales that I've missed, I'll just do it online. So I did that on Thursday. So I picked these up off of the Nike website. I had been looking for these specific pants. I actually saw a girl at my local gym who had these on one day and I love them. They're the black and white and gray camo um, crop pant or like a capri pant. And these were like 30% off or 40% off on Black Friday. So I picked these up and this is what they're called, the Nike Legend Tight Fit. Hopefully you can see what that says there. And <coughs> they retail for 65. But like I said, I got like 30 or 40% off. I can't remember exact prices, guys. Sorry. All right, so I'll just throw those over there. The next thing I got was a couple things from Victoria's Secret. So I actually picked these up prior to Black Friday. Um, well, I, I picked this one up in my local Victoria's Secret. Like I said, I was out of town that uh, for Thanksgiving. So I picked this up, and then um, they don't go on sale I guess I mean they were $39.50 and they were the same on Black Friday except I think they were doing two for two for 39 or two for 54 on their other pajamas but this is just a pajama shirt and um, it's really cute it's got like the gingham check with the pink lining inside and it's really cute with the smaller check here and the little Victoria's Secret logo in pink let me see if I can price for you. And there is the price. Oh, $39.50. Oh, it's upside down. Okay. <clears throat> and then I got this one as well. And I actually ended up getting two of the gingham check and one of these. I got one for my daughter for Christmas. So she's getting that one and then I have this one as well. This is really cute with all the Christmas colors and the Victoria's Secret logo and then the cute polka dot on the inside. So those are really cute. So we've got those. And then, you know, if you placed an order on Black Friday, they have always, they have their Victoria's Secret tote. And so I got the tote and it was filled with a little sample of this right here, which is the Victoria's Secret body stuff. Um, I guess it's new to them. It's the ultimate moisturizer for days, coconut milk. And then inside you get you get a, a scrubbing wash, a cream wash, and then you get a body lotion, hydrating body lotion. And then this is like a Moroccan oil right here, but it's their version of that. So that was kind of neat. So you got that. I think I had to spend 75 to get it, but if you have been watching my other videos, you know I'm obsessed with the Victoria's Secret totes, and I just recently got another one from another purchase, and so now I have probably, I don't know, six of these totes. Um, at some point, I may use one of them for a giveaway, but in the meantime, I'm going to 
enjoy them. I just thought this was really cute. I just, I'm a sucker for sparkles. So I got that. And then you can probably see these cute little slippers. They had these at Victoria's Secret. These are new. And I ended up getting a pair in each color, one for myself and one for my daughter. Although I'm partial to the gray. I like the gray a little bit better, but I think she will too. So I'll probably take these. These are like a reddish pinkish color. It's it's almost like a red salmon-y color. It's not a true red. It's got a lot of orange in it or pink in it. Well, no, probably more orange. Anyway, they're really cute and you can see the inside. They're like Sherpa. So they're kind of like an Ugg and they're really comfortable. They have a thick sole, really thick soles. You can see I've been wearing these and um, they're just really cute. They're like a sweater material. So I got two of these and these retailed for Oh boy. You know what? I'm not sure what they retailed for, but what I will tell you is they are they were not on sale, and so whatever the price is now is what I paid. So I got those two. Alright, so I think that's all for Victoria's Secret. So let's just go on to Bath and Body Works. So I got this tote. This is the Bath and Body Works tote, and the cool thing about this tote was that if you got it online, I believe it was Thursday night, um, they gave you an extra $5 off because normally the tote would have been $25, but I got it for $20 as long as I spent, I believe, $40. So, and it, it's really a cute tote this year. Usually they have a really cute tote every year, and I really like this one. It's just a great little travel tote, and it's got that like silvery gray color, and then it comes with this little pocket here, which is really cute. You can stick like your driver's license, passport, whatever, if you're using this for travel or even every day. And <clears throat> I just like the quilting on it. And then on the inside you can see it's just a nice deep tote. There's no pockets in there or anything. And it looks like the tote retails by itself for $29.50 if you can see that. So I'll put the lighting. And then the bottom is just flat no feet or anything but inside the tote and I'm sorry I don't have the items here to show you but I got a candle which was my favorite candle for Christmas last year which is the spiced apple toddy and I've been burning that like every day <laughs> so don't have that to show you and then it also came with the um, new fragrance that they're um, selling it came with this joyful be joyful fragrance and it came with this a body lotion a body wash a loofah and also a um, hand soap so the hand soap is in my kitchen and then this and the um, the uh, body wash I'm using currently right now so I grabbed those and um, I also picked up six candles and I will insert a photo here at some point of all of my candles that were everything was buy three get three free yeah that's what it was on, on Thursday so I couldn't pass up that deal so I did that online got the tote um, and then I also got the wallflowers the wallflowers were buy three get three free and then I think I used a coupon that I had as well so I did really good at Bath and Body Works so there you go and then let's go over here to Charming Charlie so Charming Charlie had a tote. If you can't tell already, I'm clearly obsessed with handbags and totes, like most of you, I believe. And so this is the Charming Charlie tote. And what I will say is that it's very likely that both of these totes will be gifts. I do tend to give them away and keep the contents of the totes. <laughs> but I have to go for the totes, you know, like when they have them, I just, I have to go for them. I love them. So this is the Charming Charlie tote, and this is a retail price of, let's see here, 120 I think. And inside this tote, and it is so cute, it's like a teal and, um, I don't know what you would call that, like a greenish blue color there in the center with teal at the bottom and then gold piping. It's just adorable. And I think this is going to my niece, who is 11, I believe. And inside was all these little cute things. And you did have to, um, 
think you just have to buy it for 35 or 39 something like that and I believe they might still have these totes so inside it had all these cute little things it has this little pouch which I thought would be cute for like a laptop you could or not a laptop I'm sorry but an iPad or a tablet so I thought she could put her tablet in here or her makeup and she's 11 so she doesn't wear makeup yet and then this really cute um, scarf and you know the charming Charlie um, has great scarves and pashminas and all that kind of stuff so this is really cute and this may actually end up going to my sister-in-law which is her mother I love that it came with all this stuff because you can piece these out <clears throat> as gifts it came with this be brilliant mirror I think this is a mirror there you go really cute <clears throat> excuse me and then it came with this cute makeup case which says be colorful and it's got all this gold um, striping on it really cute this was tempting for me to keep but I have so many makeup cases <laughs> that this is probably going to go to my niece and then a really cute glasses case put her sunglasses in here and then a luggage tag which I love and this I'm gonna keep I just thought that was too cute so this will be mine <laughs> and I think actually there was a couple other things in here but my daughter saw them and grabbed them I can't even remember what they were there might have been like another little makeup case in here or pencil case or something so you like I said I think it was $39.50 with your purchase on Black Friday on that weekend so did grab that and I got fortunate enough where my in-laws live in Kansas that they still had those available because that I did purchase in store and along with that I also got a few things from Charming Charlie let me just go through these um, <coughs> sorry guys so the first thing is this cute checkered tan and black and white um, scarf okay so the scarf is $22.50 and I did have a coupon, I believe it was like um, 20 off of 50 or something like that. And so I got this, and I actually got this for my daughter. And so she's got this one. And then I picked up another one for myself. And you can see the difference. This is white, this is tan. And so this one I got for myself. So we have matching scarves. As you can see, my daughter and I tend to do things um, together we match a lot <laughs> she's 23 actually as of yesterday so um, she likes a lot of the same stuff I like fortunately which makes it easy or could be a, a problem because she tends to steal my things but this I did pick up as well I got this for myself I just love the style of it and it's got that Sherpa lining so to keep your head real warm and it's a cute little cap and then this is a matching um, this is an infinity scarf, believe it or not. I thought it was a skirt at first, but there's no way that's a skirt. It's way too short for that. But it's really cute, and it's got the matching Sherpa here, and then nothing here. So I'm assuming this part goes around your neck, and then this just kind of dangles. So I thought that was really cute. This retailed for 14 and this one was 18 and these were buy three get one half off or buy two get one half off or something like that so those were not a Black Friday purchase but I think I got them on Monday and then I picked up and I actually had my mother-in-law with us when we got her this this is a beautiful um, like sweater cape and it's got the gray and the black and it's got this beautiful fringe on it don't know if you'll be able to really get the gist of it it's like you know one of those sweater um, pullover capes but it has like the arms here or space for the arms so you can drape it over your arms and I just love this fringe so we let her pick this out for herself because we weren't quite sure which one she wanted and if you've been a Charming Charlie you know it is overwhelming so we let her pick hers out and so this was $35 so we'll be wrapping that and putting that under the tree for grandma and I think that's it from Charming Charlie next I got another infinity scarf and this one came from I believe um, what 
let's see here. It's just not coming to me off the top of my head. I think I got this at a little boutique that we went to. And it's also an infinity scarf, as you can see. Really cute. And it's in this gray, or sorry, um, blue and green uh, chevron style. So I got that. thought that was really cute. And then this I picked up at a store that I love that I'm spending way too much money in lately. And it's called Torrid. And it tends to be for people who are plus size, but they have a, they start around size 12, which is the average American woman anymore. And um, I tend to buy a lot of stuff from them in the 14 size, and um, <clears throat> it fits me really well, and you know, even gives me a little bit of stretch, which is nice. A lot of their stuff has stretch. This retailed for $48.50. It's also a sweater shawl, and I just couldn't get over the colors. I hope that you can tell from the lighting. It's kind of difficult, but it's gray, burgundy, and like a blackish charcoal color. It's so pretty. And so I did pick this up for myself, um, and I believe I had a coupon for that. Okay, and then I have a couple other shawls to show you. So this one, and I'll show you the bag, comes from a store in the mall that we have called Love Shoes. And they sell designer style shoes. They're not name brand, but they are the replicas of the name brand. So they have a lot of styles in there that, you know, would match like um, the Valentino and it's very trendy. And so, and the prices are really good. So if you're not, you know, hell bent on the name brand, it's a great place to buy those types of things. And then they just started uh, selling like, <clears throat> excuse me, little ponchos like this. And I just, Oh my god, I walked by the window and I was like, I gotta get that. So, so cute. And this is by a brand called Rowana. And this was $39.50. So there's the info if you need it. And I know they have a website, so you could check that. And then um, they have the little fringe on here. Just adorable. And it comes to a point. So, really cute. And it looks like it's like triple layered here. And it's just very unique. I don't know if you can see over there, but over here you can see it's like triple layered. And it just goes over your head, no arms. It's got a really nice opening here for your neck and these cute wooden buttons. And then on the back, it's got that cute layered look again. Just adorable. And so I got one for myself and I bet you can guess. Ha, I tricked you. One for myself again. <laughs> this is not for my daughter this time. This one is for me as well. And this one is a um, lighter color, lighter pattern. I think this has been open, so it's going to kind of sit funny. But it's the same thing, as you can see. So I just picked up two of those. Really cute. All right, and then moving on to DSW. Um, actually... I have to tell you that I purchased um, two pairs of shoes at DSW and they had their Black Friday sale. I was very fortunate again um, that I went into the store and they still had everything that I was looking for but the shoes didn't work out. <laughs> so I ended up returning them or exchanging them and got, got something different. Um, so anyway, long story short is I ended up going to Macy's and getting a couple pairs of shoes that I wanted instead. I hope that's not totally confusing, but here they are. I have been eyeballing these cute Steve Madden boots for quite a while. They have a bit of a western look to them. As you can see, they're suede on top with the wood heel on the bottom, and they have a zipper here on the sides. So sorry about the light, guys. Hopefully you can see that. Cute, cute, cute. And so... I grabbed these up from Macy's and these were on sale with their friends and family which was last week or actually I think it just ended like yesterday. So got those and if you're interested in this model they are the hipster black suede and I want to say they were around 69 I think for those. And then I got a pair of Tommy Hilfiger that I ended up um, picking up also. And 
these are just adorable. Funny story is I went in to get my daughter some Sperry's that look almost identical to these. They were on her Christmas list and then we ended up getting her those, but I ended up finding these for myself because I just absolutely love them. And they were on sale and I had a million coupons through Macy's because I'm a card holder. So I ended up picking these babies up for myself. So really cute. And I also got this beautiful wrap at DSW that was their little Black Friday giveaway. And it's really cute. It's a shawl wrap. And um, it's got a little bit of a edge to it. It's a thinner wrap. So it's not like the blanket shawls. It's a little bit thinner as far as like the width of it. So, um, I will try to insert a picture of me wearing this. I just think it is adorable. So um, pick that up on Black Friday as well. So I think that's it for all the clothing. So let me come over here to beauty and then I will be finished guys. So here we go. Got this little lip gloss set here at Ulta. And I would say it's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. 15 lip glosses and you can see they run the gamut on the shades and my daughter was with me on Black Friday um, we went into Sephora and we were looking at all their little goodies and I did pick up a few things there but she mentioned to me that she really needed lip gloss and I said you know what um, I think Ulta was having a sale too so let's go check them out so I ended up buying this for her and I'm gonna give this to her but I may piece these out and give her um, most of them and then maybe split them up with my niece and my sister-in-law as well because I don't know that she'll go through 15 <laughs> all 15 and some of these may not be her color so anyway this was like nine dollars on Black Friday so great deal and then went to Sephora and picked up a few goodies um, and I'll go through these real quick. So the first thing was I was looking for some new facial moisturizer and I found this Shishido um, mattifying moisturizer. I went through several different ones, but I kept seeing this um, Shishido and I thought, you know, I'm gonna give that a try. I know that it's really good and it's been around for years and years and it's like, I think made in Japan or it's a Japanese company and a lot of people swear by it. So I decided to pick this up and it has not disappointed me. It is fantastic. It's oil free, but it gives you a nice hydration without all the shine in it. And I want to say this was somewhere in the $40 range and you do get quite a bit. It's a 1.6 ounce and I use it very sparingly. So I see that'll last me a while. And then in addition to that, I wanted to try this. This was a, actually this came from Ulta as well. This is the Tarte Marucha Maru, Marua, Kucha, maracuja oil. I hope I'm saying that right, guys. <laughs> so this is really neat. Um, this is actually for the face. I'm sure you could use it on the skin and hair, but this is meant for the face, and this is a facial moisturizer. It's 0.5 ounces, and it's made by Tarte, and you just unscrew this, and it has a little pumper here, so it's like a little um, dauber, and um, you just put some in your hands and then you you know put it on your face so I have used that and it's not greasy at all and I do like it so that and this together are both um, I'm using both as my moisturizer so I just kind of go back and forth I haven't decided which I like better um, and then it came with this little tart um, eye cream maracuja C brightener eye treatment and this I haven't even opened yet so I'm not quite sure how that's supposed to work. I kind of need to look that up. And then I picked up this Anastasia Travel Brow Kit, and this came from Sephora. This was in their little checkout area. I've been eyeing this for a while, and I'm getting low on my eyebrow gel, so I thought I'd give it a try. And then I got this Buxom Strut Your Stuff, stuff excuse me, um, kit, and it comes with a lip gloss, eyeliner pencil, and then a lip crayon. And go ahead and open this and show you because I have not used this yet and I kind of been wanting to get, get into this and this I believe I got on Black Friday yes I did get it on Black Friday um, but you can see they give you they have a, real, a lot of really nice gifts under ten dollars there on Black Friday and um, they give you a nice size of everything 
And so here you go. This is the crayon. I'll just show you what the color looks like. It's kind of like a mauvey, pinky color. Hopefully you can see that. And then you get the Buxom lip gloss. And the one thing I will tell you is this is not the plumping one, the tingly one. I cannot stand those. I tried it and it was horrible. It made my lips hurt. <laughs> so this I got because it was not the tingly one. So that's great for layering with your lipstick. And then it also came with this like shimmery crayon pencil for your eyes. And it's like a brownish gold color. Hopefully you can see that. It's very pretty. So there is that. And then lastly, um, I did place an online order with Sephora just recently and I got a few things. So the first thing I got was this cute little bag. Oh, what fun. This is one of their little free sample bags. Oops, and it came with a bunch of different stuff in it. So it came with this mask, the Sephora mask, rose mask. So that's kind of neat. And then it came with some Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. And, oh, and then I, up, I also purchased this one. This is the Buxom Lip Says It All. This is the mini um, duo, and I wanted to compare it with this one. So it's about the same, but it's a slightly darker color. Let's see if I can pull it out and show you guys the difference. I almost forgot I got them, both of these. Um, if you're a fan of Buxom, maybe you can leave a comment and tell me what your thoughts are if you've tried this. But this is the um, this is a bit more sparkle in it than this one does. So you can see the difference there, and it's a bit darker. And you can see there's sparkle in there. And then um, <coughs> this color. And you don't get nearly as much in this one. I think both of these, I think this one was like, this one might have been 19 maybe, if I'm not mistaken. And this one might have been 10 or something like, or 16. I can't remember the exact um, price. But you can see that's a really pretty color. And I'm a person who has to wear dark colors. I cannot wear like pinks, light pinks and things like that. They just look terrible on me. So... I got those to compare, and then also there was a sample of this Altier Cologne, which is called Sued Magnolia. Now I've tried their vanilla um, sample in another purchase that I made, and it's phenomenal. So I'm excited to try this one as well. And then it included a Josie Marin Argan Oil sample, a Loli Tint Benefit, sample. So this is a, let's see here, um, I think this is make, or, uh, a lip gloss if I'm not mistaken. Oh, you know what, it's one of those that I think you can use on your cheeks and lips, that's what it is. So it comes with this little container. I think I'll be able to open that with one hand, but you can see it's like a pink color so that's not going to go on my lips <laughs> and then I got the um, Peter Thomas Roth chill I'm sorry is that say oh oil is oil I'm sorry and then they gave you a, a nice size sample of this phyto specific cream hydration so this is a styling cream I guess for your hair so we'll have to check those out and see what we think and then I did get samples of perfume. So I got this J'adore, which I love. It smells so good. And it's really a nice little size sample. It's great for your purse. And then this My Burberry sample. Both really nice sizes. So right now Sephora is doing like their bigger size samples, which is kind of nice. So guys, I am finished. This is my Black Friday haul. As you can see, Cyber Monday and uh, everything else in between. <laughs> so I hope you've 
enjoyed this. I hope you found something that might interest you and then you'll go out and grab it for yourself. And I hope um, you're enjoying watching my channel and I will see you on my next video. Again, check me out on Instagram at PurseDiva38. And um, if you have any questions about any of these items that I've shown you or mentioned, just let me know and I will see you next time. Take care. Happy holidays. Bye-bye.